Okay guys, this is uh, Paul Foster in South Africa. Um, just going to show you how to harvest impala lily seeds. This is a impala lily. This one's probably, I don't know, seven, eight years old now. Had it a long time. And it started producing seed pods about three years ago. Um, there's just two left on this because I've already harvested some but I thought I'd show you how to do it. So you just break them off like this. They come off quite easy. They're quite long pods, quite firm to the touch. So I'll take you out around the back now and show you how to split the seed. Okay, so one of the things people do with these is they put um, net stockings around them or something like that because as you really should let them dry and let them split naturally but I've had good results splitting them before they do that um, but they sometimes wrap net stockings around them or they wire them so that they can't open and the seeds blow away but anyway basically there's a line that splits as they dry out it splits longitudinally along and then inside you get these things and each one of these if you can see is a winged seed now they look like an English dandelion seed but it's there's two parasols one on each end oh, that's come off now but let me pick one that one there there's a seed I don't know why it's not focusing there's a seed in the middle and these plumes open up like a parasol to help the seeds disperse so you just pull them off it's a bit difficult with one hand with filming pull the other one and that element there is your seed and the fresher you get this seed the better and what I tend to do is I place maybe 10 in a cup of water and they float initially when they've sunk which is about 24 hours later that's going to germinate them and I've had good results germinating them in wet tissue in a sealed polythene bag for a, three or four days and then covering them with a, a very well drained gritty mixture and just letting them grow on and they'll get about an inch high in a couple of weeks and fatten up the little stems so well worth a try uh, great for bonsai, beautiful flowers. There's a few different types. This one is actually a Denium multiflorum, which is the South African Impala. They're known in the States for some reason as the Desert Rose, um, but they grow them in Thailand and Bangkok and all over the world. Um, and I think originally they are a South African plant, but there's Adenium multiflorum, Adenium obesum, which is the one with the big fat roots. You can also grow them from um, cuttings, take a piece of stem off, let it scab over for a couple of days in the heat. But they will never grow the bulbous roots that the ones grown from seed. So on average I've had between 40 and 60 seeds per pod out of these. So it's a, it's a bit of a well, it's not a chore, it, takes, it doesn't take that long, but you've got to pull all these parasols off because if you let them dry naturally they'll just blow away, then they're so light. Yeah, that this is one. I've got some nasturtium seeds in here that I threw in six months ago and because the rains have just come they decided to germinate. But these these little things here are the Adenium the Impala. And as you can see, once they get their head out of the long seed case, they're quite stout initially and they get going very very quickly I've got some at home in the UK that have grown maybe 4-5 or five inches in 6 months in UK conditions another close up of the seeds you can see them there each one's got two parasols pull them off soak them in water put them in a wet tissue in a sealed plastic bag and with a bit of luck you should get between 70 and 90% germination I've had some really good results with fresh seed all the seed very poor 30 to 40% a lot of wastage with all seed so the fresher you get it the better it is anyway 
if you like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and I'll speak. So after you after you've uh, removed the parasols, they don't look like parasols at the moment because they're wet, but um, that's what you get. That's the seed, and that's out of one capsule. I don't know how many's in there, 50, 60 maybe. Quite a good crop.